I'm here at International Armoured Vehicles and I've been joined by Colonel Frédéric Voila. So perhaps you could just explain a little bit about your role um, in the French Army. So I'm uh, in the French Army staff. I am in charge of uh, capability development, especially for um, infantry, artillery, cavalry and engineers uh, from 2025 to 2040. And could you tell us a little bit about Project Scorpion, the modernization program? So, Scorpion is, is more than a program. It's a kind of transformation process. It was uh, designed about 10 years ago by my predecessors. And it's a concept uh, based on an uh, in incremental approach, on an innovative approach. We want to renew some ground combat vehicles and we want to integrate uh, as quick as possible the technical innovation. So, it's uh, a totally renewal of our medium capability from this year, 2020, up to 2030. And so 2019 has really seen the start of Scorpion um, with several pieces of equipment already being delivered. Yes, the first uh, Scorpion vehicle have been delivered to the French Army at the end of the 2019 and from the first French regiment this summer and it will be committed in operation in 2021. And could you tell us a little bit about some of those pieces of equipment that have been fielded? So the Griffon is the first Scorpion vehicle that uh, have been delivered. It's a medium uh, multi-purpose vehicle uh, designed for infantry, observation artillery, for uh, combat engineers. We will have about 1,800 Griffon in about 20 versions. And another vehicle would be the Serval, I believe, that's um, going to be delivered in the next few years? Yes, the little brother of Griffon. Griffon is a, a six-wheel vehicle at about 23 tons, and uh, the Serval will be a four-four-wheel drive vehicle at about 17 tons. So it's a little brother. It's for our uh, national emergency echelon. It's combat and service support vehicle, medical support, signals, and for light infantry too. And are there any other vehicles which are going to be delivered as part of uh, Scorpion? After Griffon and before Saval, there will be the Jaguar. It's an armored recce vehicle uh, equipped with 40 mm uh, guns that will be delivered in 300 exemplaries. Uh, the first will be delivered next year. And could you tell me about any research projects that are underway that are part of uh, Scorpion? The Scorpion family has to expand because, as I told you, we are renew the infantry vehicle, the cavalry vehicle, but we have to make the same with support vehicle for combat artillery men. So we have decided to buy a mounted mortar in Griffon, what we call MEPAC, 120 mm mortar uh, mounted in a, in a Griffon that will be delivered in 2023. And we are currently working on a light Ricky vehicle, the so VBA in French, for uh, Ricky units on to escort our uh, MBTs. And uh, we are working on an engineer, combat engineer vehicle to be able to, let's say, dig and protect our vehicle for defensive action or to open the path in specific situation. All this vehicle, VBA on the engineer support vehicle, uh, will be prepared in the next two years and we uh, expect the first delivery at the end of 2025. And Scorpion isn't just about um, armoured vehicles, it's very much looking at network-centric warfare. Could you explain a little bit about um, how that's going to be achieved? The combat vehicles are only the image part of let's say, Scorpion iceberg, because what is very new with Scorpion, it's what we call Vetronic, it's kind of embedded electronic in the vehicle. It's a link with the radio asset, the contact to radio. It's a link with the mat battle management system, the CKS. And all these uh, components working together make that the combat platform are linked together and there is a lot of uh, interaction between the, the platform. And this interaction make able to uh, act quickly, to decide uh, quickly and to be more efficient, to be more protected on the ground. So could you tell me if there's any unmanned ground vehicles um, that are going to be involved in Scorpion? Yes, yeah, so uh, automatic systems are part of Scorpion. We already have uh, about some Ricky uh, unmanned ground vehicle, but uh, small uh, ground vehicle. Uh, next year we will uh, experiment some median uh, ground vehicle for logistic purpose, uh, principally, and we are working with light Ricky vehicle 
we want that it could be optionally unmanned for a specific uh, task uh, to cross a hotspot or something like that without uh, any damage for the crew. So auto what we call in uh, the French Army automized uh, systems uh, will be a reality in Scorpion with little system, medium systems and with a ground combat vehicle but for this part in about five or six years. And would any of these be new developments that are not already operational or fielded? The most we have to do is to work with the VBA for this optionally unmanned vehicle. We already have made some trial, but we are working on a more integrated technology for this vehicle. And could you tell me a little bit about those trials when they took place and on what platform? We have made a trial in our um, Yoruba training area in the eastern of France. Last, uh, last spring, it was a competition with uh, several industrial and uh, they, have, uh, they have brought their, uh, their vehicle, all kind of uh, uh, automated systems, uh, ground on Ricky, light on uh, Ricky vehicle, uh, multi-purpose uh, vehicle, some uh, already in service uh, combat vehicle, uh, optionally uh, unmanned for a specific task, but what she, which has been made after the, the design and the construction of the vehicle. And we try all these uh, systems in a different tactical situation with uh, our uh, OP4 in service in our uh, urban training center. And uh, we have uh, take a lot of uh, lesson learned, tactical lesson learned, technical lesson learned. And the next step, will be to try uh, one or two uh, specific uh, automized platform in operation uh, next year to confirm what we, what we have discovered or we have confirmed during the trial in our training center. Well, it's certainly an exciting time for the French Army. Um, thank you so much for talking to us, Frédéric. It's hugely appreciated. Thank you.